Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jux from Movie Baseball Blogs, and guys, we are continuing the top 50 prospects phenoms at the top 50 minor league pitchers and prospects that you like to call them. Um, countdown to number one. We are at number 49. Yesterday we had number 50, Jeremy Jeffries of the Kansas City Royals, and we are down to number 49 on our countdown. Number 49 is somewhat, if you guys ever heard of this guy, I'll be really impressed that you guys heard of this guy. This guy is. He pitches in the organization, the Arizona Diamondbacks. You guys are probably asking, who is this guy? There are some guys you might may have heard in the Arizona Diamondbacks organization, like Josh Collimenter. That's not the guy I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pitching sensation of Gerard Parker. This guy is by far a beast when it comes to minor league somewhat. Um, so here are some of the scouting ports I have on Gerard Parker. And you'll be surprised on who I will compare this guy to in the future. Um, he throws four main pitches. He has two breaking ball, a slider, and a curve. His two pi his I know one of his two breaking balls. It is a cur uh, It was a changeup, and that he said that that changeup is the pretty much the pitch that he does to get out of most innings. That's the most uh, threatening ball that he has. Um, here is a little background information on Gerard. Um, he was drafted by the Arizona Diamondbacks in the ninth overall pick in the 2007 MLB draft. He was drafted straight out of high school, Norwell High School in Indiana. Um, Owasin, it's a small city in Indiana. I'm living in Indiana for a little while. I don't know that city. I've lived there for a year and a half. Um, his season really took a turn in 2010 when he had Tommy John surgery. I, he, his 07 season was his best season I've actually heard of. This guy was by far a beast. He was 12 and 5 with 117 strikeouts in 07 in the Midwest League. After the 07 season with in the Midwest League, he was promoted to the California League. And then from the California League, I think it's A ball or Independent ball. Then you go to A ball, then you go Double A, Triple A, and then Majors. Um, he was promoted to the California League. And right after that California League, he had to go into Tommy John surgery, which sat him out most of 09 season and 2010 season. So he's going into the 2011 season focusing on if he's going to make a return. This guy made the Arizona Diamondbacks spring roster but did not make the final cuts. So he's going to be pretty much be pitching in the minors, maybe double A ball, maybe tri or triple A. Most likely it's going to be A ball or double A ball to start off Gerard Park with it. I almost got an interview with Gerard, and he said I have to go through the PA, um, but I'll be most likely trying to get an interview with him to talk some baseball with you guys. But Gerard Parker made our 49, and I'm really excited to announce who I compare him to. Uh, I compare him to Rich Harden. I was going to think about comparing him to Javier Vasquez, but Rich Harden really fits Gerard Parker's way. Um, they can both clock at 100 mile an hour fastball. But he has a, uh, Gerard Parker is capable for pitching a 100 mile an hour fastball, but he can pitch in the 90s, but the highest he's ever pitched was a 97 mile an hour fastball. Rich Harden, he's getting somewhat there in his age, and he's still a lightning pitcher. I mean, this guy's pitching for the uh, Oakland Athletics, and this team's struggling a little bit, but that's fine. Rich Harden, I, I said he was getting old. I will I'll, uh, correct me. He was 29 years old, still kind of young, but I really think that Gerard Parker really fits the description with um, Rich Harden. So, he what Gerard Parker has to do? He has some minor weaknesses that he really needs to pay attention of. Um, he has a small frame. He has a, had a recent elbow injury and in his durability. Um, beyond durability uh, durill, concerns, Gerard. Um, stock comes with minor questions because he's a shorter pitcher with a power uh, repertoire he'll still need to be he still has to rely on his fastball um, his breaking pitches are solid and average and above average command his um, he's decent he has a great way he can make the majors but it's gonna take a lot of time this Diamondbacks bullpen is somewhat not stacked I should say J.J. Putz, Aaron Heilman, those are the, pretty much the leaders in that bullpen. Uh, Mercilene Vasquez is not in there. Um, he did not make the cuts to the Arizona spring training, but give him some, maybe about a couple more years. This guy could be at triple-A ball. In a matter of time, he can make an MLB debut. 
So at number 49, we have Arizona Diamondbacks pitching minor league top prospect Gerard Parker. Will this guy make an MLB debut within the next two years? I don't know. Let me know. I'm Justin, and I'll talk to you guys later. Now let's start with lineups, managers, and umpires for